What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tim coming back at you with another YouTube video and welcome to TA Vlogs. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would like to say welcome. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to drop a like. All of that goes into helping out the YouTube algorithm and just helps get my video out to more and more people. So thank you for doing that. Alright guys, so I just got back home from work. Um, just got done eating some Popeyes. So I'm energized. I'm ready to shoot this video. Let's get into it. So for today's video, we have a quick sneaker review. And the shoe we are talking about is the Nike Black Multi Camo. For the box, typical Nike dunk box, uh, nothing too special about that. We have a size tag right there, size 11 and a half. And I do want to give a shout out to my Foot Locker plug. She always holds me down, so thank you for sending this pair my way. So this dunk was actually a surprise to me. I didn't even know this was actually coming out. Uh, my Foot Locker plug hit me up and was like, yo, we're getting the black multi-camel dunks. Uh, we have the white multi-camel dunks too. Which one do you need? I said, give me the black one. Um, hopefully, I can get my hands on the white one. Uh, but for right now, the first shipment is going to be this black one. And um, surprisingly, I actually like it. Once she let me know they were coming out, I went straight to the internet to go see the pictures. And I really didn't like the pictures that they took on Nike and all the other pictures I was seeing all over the internet. Uh, but when I got them in hand, um, I was actually pleasantly surprised and actually impressed with this shoe. So let's go over the materials on the shoe. So for the uppers, it's mainly leather and this uh, canvas material for the camos. Um, leather wrapping around the toe box right here as well. Leather is going up through the sneaker eyelets, coming all the way back here to this uh, middle panel portion. Wrapping around the heel portion as well. For the midsole, we have a white midsole. And then we have this uh, military green outsole. For the Nike swoosh, it's the same military green as the outsole. It does have the green stitch Nike writing right there in the back. And then for the sock lining, we have this nice cushiony uh, black cotton for that wraps around the whole portion. Traditional black dunk laces with green aglets. Coming up to this black canvas material tongue, you have this military green again with the Nike and the Nike check right there. And this tongue is actually different than a normal uh, dunk tongue uh, because the dunk tongue is actually thinner than this, uh, but this tongue is not actually an SB tongue either. Um, I would probably say it's like a middle ground between the two. It's a lot thicker than the traditional dunk tongue, but a lot thinner than the SB tongue. For the insole, you have that same military green with an orange Nike check which gives it a nice little pop right there. You have the green stitching throughout the midsole. And the leather quality is actually a lot better than traditional dunk quality. Um, obviously it's not that buttery leather, uh, but it feels a lot better than the normal plastic leather they be putting on dunks nowadays. So I'm happy about that as well. So unfortunately this shoe does not come with an extra pair of laces, but that's fine because the black looks great on this one. And going over it, um, looking at the Nike uh, quality control, I would say they actually did a pretty good job on this shoe in particular. Um, most dunks, I see a lot of defects, whether that is stitching defects, gluing defects, um, leather cuts, or anything like that. And uh, looking over this shoe, stitching looks A1, glue looks perfect. Um, I definitely say Nike did take their time and uh, use a little bit more premium quality materials on this shoe. Uh, versus the normal dunks. And then as you see on the uppers, they use this uh, black, I guess you would say crackled, uh, wrinkled leather, I guess you could say. Um, and like I said, it does feel better than the normal plastic leather. So I definitely do give Nike an A plus on that for making the materials a lot better than they normally do. As you can see, it's like this nice crackling, um, 
wrinkly leather. So as you can see on the left shoe, you have this traditional army fatigue right there. Then it wraps into this nice little desert ore kind of brownish uh, tan colors. Then you have the traditional digital camel on this heel portion. So then for the right shoe, you have the traditional digital camel right there. Then the army fatigue one right here. And then you have the desert ore on the back. And a cool little detail they added here to this heel panel, um, they had the Nike check instead of, I think that is a basketball. So it doesn't have the traditional Nike writing like the left shoe does. Other than that, the shoes are pretty similar. Uh, just some crisscross mismatch camo that they added to each different shoe. So each shoe definitely stands alone and holds its own. Now initially, um, I was gonna have this shoe sit, keep it for a uh, resale or maybe even some trade bait to get something in the future. But looking at this shoe, um, like I say, you can't sell crack if you're a crack addict. Like this shoe, I can't get rid of. This shoe, it reminds me of Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty vibes. I don't know, just something about the camo, something about the black and the green. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to flip it. I think I'm gonna keep it in the personal collection. Um, right now I'm gonna keep it on ice, so if I do get any offers on it, whether that be a trade or cash, I might hear them out. But you can't get high off your own supply, so I'm gonna have to control myself and try to flip it. But looking at it right now in person, I'm definitely thinking about keeping this and adding it to the personal collection. Alright guys, and you know, as always, I rate all my shoes. So if I will have to give this shoe a rating from a 1 out of 10, I'm definitely going to give it a solid 8.7. And yes, I know that it's kind of high. Uh, camo Army Fatigue isn't really in right now. But just the quality of the shoe, um, just the vibes it gives me. Like, the, like I said, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, that's one of my favorite video games. I know this is not a Call of Duty collab, but it just gives me that vibe. It gives me that aesthetic. It reminds me... Back to 2010, I think, is when that game came out. And um, it's just a great shoe. Overall, definitely do recommend picking it up. Right now, on StockX and GOAT, I've been seeing the resale value go anywhere between 210 to 225 which I think is a great price for the shoe. Uh, the shoe did retail at $100, so um, it's not that much over retail. It's $100 over retail. Uh, but you know, most dunks nowadays are going for three, four hundred, even five hundred dollars over retail. So a hundred dollars over retail isn't that bad for a great looking shoe like this. All right, guys, it's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to comment down below what you think about this shoe, and don't forget to turn post notifications on so you never miss any of my uploads. I'm doing a lot of live streaming now, so make sure you guys stay tuned to that. Um, a lot of more Madden content will be on the way, and just like I said, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button does help out with the YouTube algorithm. And it really does just boost up my video up the leaderboard so more and more people are able to see it. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram and TikTok at Brotato Chip. Both of those links will be down in the description box below. Thank you for watching. It's been your boy Tim, signing off. Peace. <laughs>